the word Adam just started from the beginning because a lot of kids, the first person created was who? Adam and Eve, right? So we say Adam. So we just even started off with Adam because that's the first person that Allah created. In the Arabic, in the Arabic, that's the word Adam. Okay? But if you didn't know this or we weren't taught this or we still stay with this same language of, 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 of English language and we just stagnant right there, then that means that we we're, we have a hindrance. But the word Adam in Arabic means black. I'm not saying that because I think that. I'm not saying that because somebody told me that. I'm saying it because that's a fact. That's an actual fact. The word Adam means black. The word Adam is not only a noun, but it's a description. So it's a name. And it's a description. So the word Adam is the name of the first person, and it's a description of a color in the Arabic language. <clears throat> so when the law named Adam, Adam, he also meant that he named him black. Because the law spoke about says in the Quran that he created Adam out of a black clay. Right? A black clay. So Adam was black. He was made out of a black clay. So that's the first person created was black. The first man was black, okay? And I'm just giving you all a little glimpse of, of, of this uh, uh, Islamic African studies. When you go into biology, so now we're going to scientific fact, which I ain't got to use, but it's verified through scientific fact. We're going to biology, and I learned this in 10th grade. Before I became Muslim, I remember this in 10th grade when they were going through Dominant and recessive genes. I don't know if that's how you spell it. Dominant and recessive genes. Right? In 10th grade, in this biology class, they taught us about dominant and recessive genes and that all colors come from black. Because black is a dominant color. Right? So from black comes all the other recessive or lighter colors. You can get the color white from black. You can get the color blue from black. You can get the color red from black. You can get the color brown from black. But you can't take two white and make a black. You can't do that. But for black, there's any color. You can take two blacks and you can come out with an albino child. White and snow. White hair, blue eyes. But you can't take two white people and get a black child. It won't happen. Because they're recessive. Right? So thus, all colors come from black. Take the color black, you mix it with anything else, it gets other colors. Right? Red and blue, make green. Right? You mix in these colors, you get different colors. Okay? So, we're healing ourselves. We're having uh, um, pride of ourselves. Right? As a people. Right? In the best of you in the sight of Allah, those who have the most talk about. So yes, we're black. Yes, we're African. Yes, we're indigenous. Yes, we could be of those who are Shemitic or Asiatic, whatever it may be. It don't matter. But the thing is, once we understand that we can be of those who, are, or we have been of those who have uh, attained greatness, we understand Jesus was black. It says in the Hadith. It says in the scripture, in the original language, not in the, not in the English, it says in the Arabic, Ara'itu Rajulun Adam ka Asana Adam. Manhua, Hua Isa ibn Maryam. This is the hadith in Arabic. He said, I saw a man that was black, the most handsome of blacks. He said, Who was this? He said, This is Jesus, the son of Mary. He said, Rajalun Adam. I saw a man that was Adam. He was Adam. So describing him as a certain color, but the word that they used was Adam, saying he was described as Adam as black. Okay, so this is inshallah some of the things that we're going to learn too as well. Does anybody have any questions? Then that means that we we're, we have a hindrance. But the word Adam in Arabic means black. 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 
But the word Adam in Arabic means black. But the word Adam in Arabic means black. But the word Adam in Arabic means black. But the word Adam in Arabic means black. But the word Adam in Arabic means black. But the word Adam in Arabic means black. I'm not saying that because I think that. I'm not saying that because somebody told me that. I'm saying because that's a fact. That's an actual fact. The word Adam means black. The word Adam is not only a noun, but it's a description. So it's a name and it's a description. So the word Adam is the name of the first person and it's a description of a color in the Arabic language.